Hey, what's up everyone? It's Neil here with Samsung Galaxy S4 Soft Monitor. Today I'm going to show you how to access your weather from your notification pull down, or if you want to call it notification shade. Now this is a lot easier than using a widget or an application because you can access this from pretty much anywhere on your device, except if you have a security on your lock screen. But if you just have a simple swipe, you'll still be able to access it from your lock screen. So the application is called Notification Weather, pretty straightforward, and let's go ahead and set it up. You're going to tap on it and the first thing you need to do is settings. The locations is uh, acting a little buggy for me when I put in another, another location. So for right now we're just going to use GPS. Go into settings, you're going to want to enable. And then let's just go through the simple preferences. You can change the units of measurement for temperature and wind. You can also um, dictate the refreshing intervals from anywhere 10 minutes to 8 hours. Um, I figured two hours is fine. The weather's not going to change that much in two hours. Um, you can opt to do a four-day forecast or a single day. So let's just show you single day. Check that out. Single day forecast. Or I could do four day. Pretty cool. Go down. You can change the notification icons. You see up here in my status bar, it says the temperature right now. I can change it to... Um, to just the little icon of a sun which is actually pointless so you might as well have the temperature so you can quickly look at it then you can change some small details when you look at your weather you can have the wind speed if you want you can have wind speed and direction you can have feels like so when it says feels like it says feels like 70 degrees pretty simple maybe if you're in Chicago or something you'll want this with the wind speed um, the time format, you can do updated on. This is just how it's displayed, basically. Mine refreshed at 12 o'clock, so it says as of 12. Updated on, pretty basic. Um, priority, this dictates where it's placed on your notification shade. You put maximum, it's always going to be at the top. So if you want it at the bottom of your notifications, always put it on minimum. But I think pretty much everyone's going to want maximum. And then there's start at boot. It's pretty simple to set up. And from now on, you can access your weather. When someone asks you what the weather is going to be like, you can access it from your notification shade, which is a lot easier and a way better alternative. So uh, definitely check out the full article on Samsung Galaxy S4 Soft Modern. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.